Hello everyone, this is Miss Joss and today we're going to discuss about plants tissue. Last video we discussed about animal tissues. This time we're going to learn about plant tissues and you, at the end of this video we're going to learn a lot about this topic. But first, if ever you're going to build or design your dream house, what would be the critical considerations you're going to do? I'm sure they're not only include the thinking about the materials you're going to use, but also you're going to consider the energy sources, thermal regulation, security size, light absorption, and waste disposal, and many more. So there's a lot of consideration. The same as plants. Plants are also need to consider the same factors before they build their bodily structure. So now, Let's first list the functional aspects of a plant body, then view the tissues or building blocks that plants use to build their farms. A plant tissue can be defined as a cell or a group of cells dividing to give rise to a large number of cells, which is collectively referred as tissues. They are structurally and functionally similar to these cells. And for the function of this kind of tissue, we have the reason that plant tissue helps in providing mechanical strength to both the internal and external organs. The second function, it also helps in rendering the elasticity and the flexibility to the organs. Next function, the tissue also helps in easy bending in various parts of a plant like leaf, stem, branches without causing any damages to main plant. Next function we have it needs to help for the transportation of materials throughout the plants and prevent water loss. Next function they divide to produce new growth and build the mass of the plants. And last they also involve in various cellular processes or metabolism like photosynthesis, regeneration, and respiration, and a lot of cellular processes. Plant tissues come in several systems. The first system is the vascular system and it has cell types too. Xylem, which is made up of vessels and transcends, and the second is the phloem, which is made up of sieve cells and companion cells. As you can see in the picture, this is the xylem, which is conduct water upward, and this is the phloem, which is conduct food downward. So this is the intersection for vascular system. And the three major functions of this system, they are specialized cells with transport of water, hormone and minerals throughout the plant. Second, they contain transfer cells, fibers in addition to xylem, phloem, parenchyma, cambium, and other conducting cells. And last, they are located in the veins of the lips. As you can see, the location of the vascular is in the stems, leaves, and roots. The second system, we have the dermal. Cell type of this is parenchyma which is three major functions. The first function is for protection and sometimes nutrients absorption. And they are also tissue which covers the external part of the herbaceous plants. And they can compose of epidermal cells which are secret with the waxy cuticle. When you say waxy cuticles, they are responsible for protecting plants against water loss. Dermal tissue consists also of epidermis and uh, periderm. And we can see this system in the outer layer of the cells, of particularly in the stems, roots, and leaves. The third the system is the ground system. It have uh, three types of cells. First is parenchyma, colenchyma, and the last is clerchyma. And this system have three major functions. 
First, they synthesize the organic compounds and support the plants by storing the produce products. Second, they are composed of parenchyma cells and also include parenchyma and selenchyma cells, which is involved for the storage processing of physical support. And this system locates in stems, roots, and leaves. The last system is the meristematic. The general characteristic of meristematic tissue, we have very small cells with thin cell walls. Their cells have large nuclei and their cells have very small vacuoles and they lack intercellular spaces. They remain young forever and divide actively throughout the life of the plant. In plants, these tissues are found in the tips of roots, stems, nodes of stems, buds, in between the xylem and phloem, under the epidermis and decotylandius plants and also producing branch roots. We have kinds of meristematic tissue. We have three. The first is apical meristems, which is found at the tip of the stem and roots during the cell division. This type of meristematic helps in cellular enlargement and also influence the shapes of the mature plants. They create derivatives which form primary growth. The first is protosome, which forms the outer dermal layer of tissues. The second one is the ground meristem, which forms the cortical cells, and last is procambium, which forms the vascular tissues. So we have this, the apical meristem, this one. The second kind of meristematic is the lateral meristems, which is found along the sides of roots and stems. And they play a vital role in increasing the width or diameter of stems and roots. This one, we have the lateral meristem. Okay. Last kind, we have the intercalary meristem, which is found at the bases of young leaves and internodes, and they are mainly responsible for further lengthening or stems and leaves. So we are already done about discussing the several system, especially in terms of plant tissues. At the end, we have the far system. We have the vascular, dermal, ground, and meristematic. Thank you for listening. Itopedia was and watch all the videos available in our site and learned more. Thank you so much.